Alright everybody, what is up? It's Thunder. Welcome back and fellas. Oh my goodness, have I got a story for you. And I really feel horrible for this person, man. Let's get into it. Let's peel it back layer by layer. So I seen this article from Dot Esports. Teenager allegedly spends $20,000 of parents' money on Twitch donations without them knowing. Years of savings gone in 17 days. Oh my goodness, man. Let me tell you something. Every parent's worst nightmare is, God forbid, something happens to their child. Uh, but the other nightmare after that is something happens to your money because of your child. Listen, the children already cost us enough money as it is, man. We don't need you guys donating the rest of it to your favorite Twitch streamer. Especially when most of these guys are multi-millionaires, man. Like I just talked about in my last video, Ninja. Ninja got off Twitch, went to, I don't know what, Mixer, then Mixer dissolved or whatever happened to Mixer, now Ninja's back on YouTube, and Ninja be streaming on YouTube, and man, his super chats are just rolling, the donation money is rolling non-stop, and uh, me and Nate Thoughts were on Twitter like, yo, why would any kid donate their money to a multi, multi, multi-millionaire, and don't get me wrong, man, I'm all for supporting your favorite YouTuber or your favorite streamer, I'm all for supporting this dude 100%, but once I find out homeboy's making a million dollars a month, he's good, he's, he don't need my money, he's going straight, he don't need my money, you making more in a month than I do in 10 years, you good, you good, <laughs> y'all, you don't need my cash, son, that's why I just don't get it, but... Uh, whatever, man. Listen, so let's get into the story, man. So a teenage Fortnite fan allegedly spent almost $20,000 in Twitch donos, bits, and subscriptions last month without his parents' knowledge. And listen, man, I'm not claiming to be the uh, parent of the year here, but yo, how does your child spend that kind of cash without you knowing about it, man? It just doesn't make any sense, dude. I mean, in 17 days, I guess that's pretty quick, but... Uh, I'll show you guys a tweet right here from the homie Vanilla Gorilla. He put it uh, pretty well on Twitter. He said, I am sorry, but how the bleep don't you notice your kid spending 20K? My parents knew when I took a cookie out the damn jar. Absolutely, man. You know, my, my parents too, they knew exactly how many cookies was in that jar. And if a few of them were missing, yeah, they'd be, <laughs> you already know, man. You, did I say you could have a cookie? Did I say you could touch that cookie? They, they knew. They knew when you took a cookie. Absolutely, man. 100 right there. So I don't know, man. Maybe this mom was super busy. Maybe she has multiple kids, multiple jobs. Uh, you know, hey, she's obviously hustling. She got 20K in the bank. I mean, how many of you guys got 20K in the bank right now? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I mean, it's probably not that many. Having 20K in the bank is pretty good, man. So, uh, yeah, she's hustling. She's out there working hard for her money. And let's go ahead and read a little further here. So, the mother who preferred to remain anonymous to protect the identity of her son. Man, get the hell with that. Name and shame this dude, man. He's out there spending 20 grand of your cash. Name and shame his butt. Nah, nah. <laughs> I probably wouldn't do it either, man. Definitely want to protect the identity of your children. Listen, no matter how mad you get at your children, you always want to protect them no matter what. So she told Dot Esports that her teenage child charged $19,870.94 to a debit card between June 14 and June 30th. Yeah, 17 days. 19,000? Almost 20,000 in 17 days? Damn! <laughs> After several failed attempts at getting the money back, she turned to Reddit for advice and its wealth of collective knowledge. This was her Reddit post. I'll put it up on the screen. Uh, my minor child spent almost $20,000 using a debit card on subscriptions and donos cleaning out my bank accounts without my knowledge or permission. Years of savings gone in 17 days. No response from customer service in over two weeks. No response to certified mail to CEO or Amazon legal. Does anyone know if I can get this money back or how to get a response? So she says the donations went to popular Twitch streamers like, oh yeah, who did they, who was this kid donating to? Man, let's find out. So let me put it up on the screen, fellas. So she says the donations went to popular Twitch streamers like Tfue. This man is out here donating all this woman's money to Tfue. Tfue's a multi, multi, multi millionaire, man. See, this is what I'm saying, dude. Listen, all you streamers out there, like, I get it, man. Nobody starts off rich, right? And donations are always welcome, right? 
Uh, especially on this channel, fellas. If you want to donate to me, feel free. Uh, the link in the description, man. Hit me up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm not a multimillionaire, so it's cool. But listen, man. Once you're a multi, multi, multi-millionaire and you rich as hell, what? At what point do you just be like, Nah, kids, I'm good. I don't need your money. I'm, I, I mean, do these multi-millionaires turn off donations? Can you turn off donations? Or maybe just take the money that gets donated to you and give it to charity, like some children's hospital or something, like. I don't know. I think if I if I had like ten million dollars in my bank account, I would feel pretty bad taking money from children. I don't know. That's just me, man. I mean, <laughs> having kids donate to me money when I'm a, a filthy rich multimillionaire streamer, I don't know. It just feels weird. So, twenty thousand of her money went to Tfue uh, Gorb. Never heard of him. And. Ewo K T T V. I never heard of this guy either. As well as Atlanta Falcons quarterback Kurt Benkert and Miami Heat's My Myers Leonard. Yo, Kurt Benkert and Myers Leonard are streamers. That's pretty cool, man. Atlanta Falcons. Yo, he's out here donating money to professional athletes and multi-millionaire streamers. The mother shared a screen grab. Oh, here you go. So all the people out there saying, yo, how do I know this isn't some sob story, man, to trick people into starting a GoFundMe to, you know, because there's always scammers out there, man. I mean, <laughs> just look at YouTube, man. There's scammers everywhere, dude. Scammers galore. Found this new site. Working the system nonstop. Maybe she's one of them. Uh, so the mother shared a screen grab of her bank statements to Dot Esports just to prove she was legit, showing close to 20k spending and several large transactions sent to Twitch. All right, so she pretty much legitimized her claim here. Uh, yeah. So when I saw the bank balances were almost gone, my lips started to tingle, and I had to put my head down so I wouldn't pass out. Yo, that's how I felt when I was playing the Modern Warfare beta. I felt the same exact way. I couldn't believe it. She said I cried at first. And I didn't believe he could have done this. Yo, yo, 100. I know exactly how this woman feels. This is exactly how I felt when I first played Modern Warfare. Yeah, hell yeah, my lips tingled. I had to put my head down so I wouldn't pass out. I cried. I couldn't believe that Infinity War done this. Yeah, absolutely. The 100. I know exactly how this woman feels. Uh, so the son was given a debit card. All right, so all you people out there, they're like, yo, how could this kid have done this? How did this kid get access to her funds? And here's the story right here. So the son was given a debit card with a nominal balance to buy school lunches, the mother said. He then begun transferring money from his mother's account into his debit card to pay for the transactions through online banking. The mother believes her son might have seen her password while transferring money into his account for successfully completing chores or that she didn't log out properly. When confronted, her son knew he had spent a lot, but was shocked when he saw the total. Yeah, man, when you're spending other people's money, yeah, you could spend a lot pretty quick and not even think twice <laughs> when you're spending other people's money, for sure. Uh, since she only checked her account's balance twice a month when paying bills, the mother didn't see the transactions until it was too late. Yeah, because this kid blew through 20K in 17 days. Damn, this kid was one hell of a stream, bay man. Yo, I, yo, Tfue, I hope you at least modded this kid, dude. Did Tfue at least mod this kid? Yo, hopefully all five of these guys give the money back, man. These guys don't need this poor woman's $20,000. So let's check this out. I contacted my bank as soon as I found out, and they froze all of our accounts. And his debit card was canceled. Had canceled. I would have canceled that debit card, shredded it up, and made him eat it. <laughs> she said, unless I press charges against my son, they will not help, as this is considered friendly fraud. Yo, I didn't even know that was such a term, friendly fraud. So there you go, man. All you kids out there, you want to rob your parents and donate all your mo all their money to me? It's okay, man. It's friendly fraud. <laughs> They will press charges. No, don't do that, kid. Don't do that. Nobody do that, please. So friendly fraud or chargeback fraud is when... A consumer makes an online purchase with their card and then requests the money back from their bank. The bank can't help with the issuing the funds unless the mother presses charges. Yeah, I don't know too many people out there that are going to press charges against their own kid. Uh, even though $20,000 is an awful lot of money, but I don't know, giving your kid a criminal record and getting him sent to juvie. Yeah, that's probably not something any parent wants to do. That's probably a last, last resort. Uh, so the mother said she struggled to get through to Twitch and Amazon. She claims Twitch hasn't responded to her in over two weeks and Amazon has told her to contact Twitch directly. She has resorted to sending registered mail to Twitch CEO Emmett Shear and Amazon's legal team. 
but the cl but she claims she hasn't heard back from them yet. She's also reached out to the five streamers about getting the money back. So far, only Ben Kurt and Leonard have responded, according to the parent. Tfue, where you at, man? Tfue Gordon, uh, Ewo TTV, give this woman her money back, fellas. You guys don't need it. I know Tfue don't need it. Tfue's a multi, multi, multi millionaire, man. That's terrible, bro. Give this woman her money back, man. <laughs> That is, that is incredible. It figures the two athletes, right? The two athletes are people that, you know, are used to working hard for a living. They were like, oh, yeah, you can have the money back, no problem. But the lazy-ass streamers who just sitting around in their room playing video games all day, balling, they're like, what? Nah, I ain't giving you nothing back. Hell no. I sat in this chair all day long for that money. No way. You ain't getting that money back. So ultimately, she said she bears the responsibility for the situation. Absolutely, 100%. You've got to keep an eye on your finances, keep an eye on what your kids are doing. But I work too many hours and have not paid close enough attention to what he was doing online she said his internet knowledge has absolutely surpassed mine my focus now though is trying to figure out why he did it so i can make sure this is the one giant mistake he makes in his life yeah man yo donating twenty thousand dollars to some filthy rich streamers dude that's gonna be a sickening feeling man i feel horrible for this woman like i said it's pretty legit because the woman did show screenshots screenshots she's so she's showing some screenshots of her bank statements all going to twitch so uh yeah man all i can say is dude i mean guys you've got to keep a close eye on what your kids are doing online man trust me i got kids too and they surprise me every day with the stuff they know don't ever underestimate these kids man i'm telling you bro don't ever underestimate these kids you'll be shocked at the stuff they already know and have already seen at a very young tender age man it's just the age we're living in man i mean it's all out there right in front of you on the tablets you know the kids are on the tablets you think they're playing some like learning game on abcmouse.com hell no they're probably on browsers man i mean it's a it's a crazy crazy world we live in and fellas keep an eye on your kids and hopefully t you and all the mother filthy rich multi-millionaire streamers give this hard work and mother her money back man what a horrible story anyway fellas what do you think about all this drop it down in the comment section and also put what would you do what how, what would your discipline be if you came home one day and found out that your son or daughter it didn't have, don't have to be twenty thousand, whatever your life savings is what would you do if you found out your child was donating all your hard-earned savings to some streamer some multi-millionaire rich streamer who's probably doing a house tour video as we speak <laughs> you know what i'm saying he's showing off his cloud couch and his fancy sports car what would you do if you came home and found out that all your money was donated to some streamer man what would the discipline be drop it down in the comment section man oh my goodness bro hopefully none of us ever have to go through what this poor woman did man hopefully all these guys give this woman her money back man that is just terrible anyway fellas that's all i got thank you all so much for watching hope you guys had a fantastic weekend and yeah go check up on your bank accounts right now fellas everybody go check your bank accounts make sure your money's still there make sure it didn't get donated to tfue i'm out peace